Where is baby Brandon? We begin with our breaking news. This infant, the search growing more desperate with every passing hour. San Jose police say this three-month-old boy, Brandon Cuellar, kidnapped from his family's apartment around one this afternoon as his grandmother was unloading groceries out front. The video shows the moments after it happened. Police say this is the suspect. You see a man holding a baby carrier walking down Elm Street. In that baby carrier is Brandon. This is near 880 and the Alameda, a block away from Bellarmine College Prep. So who is that man and where did he take baby Brandon? The boy's family says they don't recognize him. Tonight, the FBI has joined the search to find the suspect and that little boy. There is a lot happening at this hour. Late tonight, thousands of people in that area have received phone calls or text alerts from the county. Let's bring in NBC Bay Area's Terry McSweeney, who's in that San Jose neighborhood, who's leading our coverage. Terry. Yeah, it's been 10 hours since Brandon Cuellar was kidnapped. From this apartment building, you see the far side, the farthest one you can see in your picture. He was in that building when he was kidnapped, and since then there have been San Jose police officers lining the street. Here we are 10 hours later. we still got at least six, seven, eight San Jose police officers, uh, or rather police cars out here on Elm Street. Take a look at some video we shot just a few moments ago. The FBI is seriously involved in this case, and I mean eight agents just walked onto the scene here maybe five, ten minutes ago. They have been talking or tweeting, I should say, that they were involved in this case all afternoon long, but they were deferring all comments to San Jose PD, and they still are. But agents themselves are here, and they're here in force. Neighbors out here are just stunned that such a crime could happen where they live. Here in the neighborhood where the kidnapping happened, a sense of shock tonight. Relatives feeling terrible that they can't do more. Neighbors unable to believe it happened at all. It breaks my heart. I'm an emotional person, so I hope they find the baby and catch the guy before too long. And there are mothers who can only shudder as I try to imagine the pain the baby's mother is going through right now. I feel so bad about the and I have two kids, two daughters, so I need to pay attention on, on that. A relative of the kidnapped child spoke of the frustration he felt this afternoon, so many questions, and yet unable to even comfort the missing boy's mother. They feel uh, not powerful right now because they really don't know what is going on at this point. They won't let him talk to uh, his cousin, the child's mother. Uh, they won't let him get near the home right now because this is, again, an active investigation. That was our own Damien Trujillo doing the translation for that part of the story. Right now we're back out here live on Elm Street in San Jose, not far from Bellarmine College Prep. And what you're looking at is eight FBI agents and a equal number, maybe even more, of San Jose police officers assembled here on the street, on Elm Street, where Brandon Cuellar was kidnapped at one o'clock this afternoon. Uh, we don't have any updates. In fact, we have been told there are no updates on this case as of this minute. Again, that could change at any minute, and the folks out here are trying to make sure it does. Live in San Jose, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News. All right, Terry, thank you. We'll keep you in place, hoping things do change very shortly. SJPD is making it very clear they need your help. We mentioned those emergency phone calls coming in tonight, still coming into our newsroom here at NBC, and maybe your home as well. Child abduction of an infant on April 25, 2022 at 1 p.m. on the 1000 block of Elm Street in San Jose. You hear it, those phone calls, text messages, and even emails from Santa Clara County. One alert contains a message for the suspect. Quote, if you have the infant, please immediately surrender to a local hospital or a fire station. So how exactly did this happen? How did a supposed stranger slip into that apartment, take Brandon, and then just walk away, seemingly undetected? Well, tonight the FBI and police around the state are trying to find the baby. It's not just locally, it is statewide. NBC Bears Ian Cole has the latest on the search and the few clues that investigators have to work off of. Tonight, surveillance video shows the moments just after a three-month-old boy was taken away from his San Jose home. The family says they have no idea who the man is. It happened at an apartment complex near 880 in the Alameda. According to grandmother, uh, she came home to this apartment located in the 1000 block of Elm Street. Uh, she took the baby in the apartment, uh, went downstairs to unload some groceries. In that short amount of time, 
uh, someone entered the apartment. You guys have the images in the video of this person and left uh, with the baby. The mother was at work. The baby boy is Brandon Cuiar. He was wearing a white long sleeve onesie with dinosaurs on it. Police say the suspect is a Hispanic man with dark complexion and short hair. He was wearing a black face mask along with black pants and a dark blue shirt, gray Air Jordans, and had a gray baseball hat on. The baby carrier is black and a white blanket over it. This is going to get solved by somebody calling us and saying, hey, I know where this baby is. The FBI is sending its child abduction response team to help. An Amber Alert will be issued once police get a description of the car he was driving. If you have this baby, please get that baby back to its mother. Uh, we can deal with, with consequences after. Uh, anybody who is a, a mother or a father, you don't love anything more than you love your child. right? This mother right now is going through a, a very, very bad time. In the South Bay, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News. Now, as for the baby's father, San Jose police say he is out of the picture, that he is currently incarcerated. I don't know, you know, whether or not that is going to play into this, uh, but, you know, obviously we're going to talk to him uh, soon, uh, but we're doing everything we can right now to locate this baby. The boy's mother was at PD headquarters this evening providing information to investigators.